You might be going to see Jesus soon, old man. You need to pour out your beer, pick up your Bible, and examine yourself. You could be dead soon, sir. You could be dead soon. I don't care what you are. You're a hater of God. You hate God. You hate God. It's all that matters, sinner. You hate God, and that's all that matters. And you need to turn unto a... I could. I could die right now. I could die tomorrow. No, I'm right with God. You You're the one God. out here drinking and you partying. Shame on you. you hate Shame God. on you, sinner. You need to get right with God, old man. It's time to turn to Jesus before it's too late. I go to Today can be, it don't matter. It don't matter how many times you go to church. If your name is found blotted out of the Lamb's Book of Life, it won't make a difference. You're praying to a dead God, sir. You know why? Because this right here, this right here, and this right here, you're a part of the party. You're a part of Mardi Gras. You don't know God, and God hates you. You must turn from your sin. You must turn from your sin. That's the truth. You don't like the truth. That's why your face looks like that right now, because you don't want to hear the truth. Guess what? The Bible says the truth will set you free, old man. The truth will set you free. God will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. God abhors the bloody and deceitful man, but God is gracious. God can save you if you humbly repent before Him. You if like you forsake your sin, you. You if you turn like from your iniquity. Hill, God, God bless you, man. Thank you for spitting on me. I appreciate that. The Bible said, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all the ungodly among them of all the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed. Jesus can forgive you. Jesus can have mercy on him. Jesus can pardon you your sin. The power of God. The power of God is present to you right now, but you're rejecting it. You're rejecting it because you want to mock. But you won't mock God on judgment day, son. You will give an account to a holy God. You're going to give an account to a holy God on the day of judgment. Jesus said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. We're here to lift up the blessed and holy name of Jesus Christ. We're here to tell you sinners that you need to get out of your sin. Get off of this broad path to destruction. This broad path of sin that you're on. And call you unto holiness. Call you out of your depravity. Call you out of your sin. And call you unto heaven. You see, Jesus Christ desires that no man should perish, but that they would have everlasting life. You can know of Jesus Christ today. You can have an abundance of life in Him. You don't have to be a sinner anymore, walking down Bourbon Street, sipping your booze. You can have freedom today, freedom from your sin, freedom from death, freedom from the wages of your sin, which is death. You can know Jesus Christ today. You can know Jesus Christ today and you must repent. You must repent today and come out of your sin. Come out of your sin today and be made clean. Be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for correction, for reproof, for an instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Well, you're not men or women of God yet, but that scripture is still good for correction for you. And we come today to bring the holy word of God as a reproof, as a correction, as an instruction in righteousness, that you might know of a better way, the way of 
Jesus Christ. You see, the way that you're on today is a way of sin, sin, sin. The Bible says that the drunkard will not inherit the kingdom of God. The fornicator, like this whore here, this fornicator will not inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible is clear. The Bible is clear. Your judgment day will be a terrible judgment day when you stand before a holy God and you give an account of how you have lived your life, sinner. Yes, yes, yes. When you stand before God and give an account. If your name is found blotted out of the Lamb's book of life, you will find yourself on your way to hell, sinners. All your depravity, all your sin, you can give that unto a holy God. The precious blood of Jesus Christ can wash you and cleanse you from your filth. Wash you and cleanse you from your sin and your iniquity, sinners. Shame on you today because you have rejected Jesus Christ. You have rejected a holy God. You have rejected the Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for you on the cross. He shed his blood for you on Calvary, on the cross. The Bible says that he was wounded for our iniquities. He was bruised for our iniquities, wounded for our transgressions. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. That's right, through the stripes of Jesus Christ, you can be healed. Even you, young sir, you cannot be a mocker of Jesus. You won't be a mocker of him on judgment day. When you stand before God, there won't be any alcohol in your hand, no more boyish gyrations, no more boyish behavior. You'll stand before God. You'll stand before God, and you will all give an account. All this foolish behavior, don't touch me. Don't touch me. All this foolish behavior, you will give an account. God makes it clear that he hates reveling and he hates the rebel work. Those of you who participate in it, you think you're here just having a good time with your friends. Look around you. Bourbon Street is a place known for drunkenness. This is a place known for fornication. This is a place known for whores and whoremongers, for idolaters, Catholics, adulterers. This is what they're known for. This is what Bourbon Street is. It's a place of sin. And you're on your way to hell today. That's what we're here to do today, is to warn you and tell you that you're on your way to hell, that if you don't give your life unto Jesus Christ, you will have hell fire. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Be free from your demons today, sir. Come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free of your demons today. You can be set free of them demons inside of you, man. If you'll repent, give your life unto Jesus Christ. You can be cleansed. You can be cleansed from your possession. Oh, Jesus Christ came to deliver us from sin. He came to deliver us from sin. It was not God's will for you to walk down Bourbon Street lost in your iniquity. It was not God's will for you to be a drunk, for you to be a boozer loser. No, Jesus Christ came that you might have a better life than this. That you can have a life of following Him. That you don't have to walk in iniquity anymore. No, that you can be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, old man, Jesus is coming soon. You might be going to see Jesus soon, old man. You need to pour out your beer, pick up your Bible and examine yourself. You can be dead soon, sir. You can be dead soon. I don't care what you are, you're a hater of God. You hate God. You hate God, it's all that matters, sinner. You hate God and that's all that matters. And you need to turn unto a, I could, I could die right now. I could die tomorrow. No, I'm right with God. You're the one out here drinking and partying. Shame on you. Shame on you, sinner. You need to get right with God, old man. It's time to turn to Jesus before it's too late. Today can be, it don't matter. It don't matter how many times you go to church. If your name is found blotted out of the Lamb's Book of Life, it won't make a difference. You're praying to a dead God, sir. 
You know why? Because this right here, this right here, and this right here, you're a part of the party. You're a part of Mardi Gras. You don't know God, and God hates you. You must turn from your sin. You must turn from your sin. That's the truth. You don't like the truth. That's why your face looks like that right now. Because you don't want to hear the truth. Guess what? The Bible says the truth will set you free, old man. The truth will set you free. Many people don't want to hear the truth today. There are many people walking this street and they're walking into hell. Some of you could die tonight. Some of you might get in a drunk car wreck tonight. Some of you might do something stupid and die. Overdose on your drugs. Whatever it is, no one is guaranteed tomorrow. The Bible says that it's appointed for a man to die and then the judgment. You are appointed a time to stand before a holy God and give an account of all your unrighteousness. It is time to repent and get right with God today. Time to get right with the holy God. It's time to pour out your beers and pick up your Bibles today. The Bible says to examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves, know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. Some of you out here today might be reprobates, might have rejected the calling of God for so long that you no longer are spoken to by God, you no longer have conviction in your life, because you become a reprobate. <coughs> oh, what a fearful thing to ignore the preacher. What a fearful thing to ignore a warning from a holy God. What a fearful thing to look at someone telling you the truth and say, I don't want to hear the truth, preacher. Get out of my face and let me drink my Bud Light. I don't want to hear the truth. I'd rather die and go to hell. Oh, but one day, one day when you stand before God, sinner, you're going to say, God, thank you for sending those men on Bowling Street to tell me the truth. I didn't listen. I ignored them. But you showed me love. But you showed me mercy. But you showed me grace at the cross. And you sent preachers that I didn't listen to. Oh, what a fearful thing. You see, God will only say one of two things to you. If you're a Christian, if you're a Christian, if you're a Christian, God will tell you, well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter ye in. Oh, but if you're like most of you today out here lost and died in your sin, God has a fearful message for you. He will say, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity, for I never knew you. And you will be cast out into a place called hell, into the lake of fire on that judgment day. <laughs> you see, the Bible says that hell is a place of weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth, where the worm dieth not and the fire is never quenched. That's where you're headed to, a place where people will be in such torment and pain that they will grit their teeth and gnash their teeth. Or they will wail and they will mourn. Because they will have realized for all of eternity, they will have realized for all of eternity that they have rejected a holy God, rejected the Bible, rejected the conviction of the Holy Ghost. And that will be for all of eternity. Is that beer worth going to hell? Is it worth it for you, sinner? Is that drink worth going to hell for? Is this party worth going to hell for? Is Mardi Gras worth burning in hell for? Is that whore, that whoremonger that you'll be with tonight, is it worth going to hell for? Just a few minutes of pleasure. <coughs> you got to be willing to come out of this world, sinners. You got to be willing to forsake this death, to forsake this foolishness. For the Bible says in the book of verse John, chapter 2, verse 15 through 17, Amen. says, Love not the world, neither the things that are of the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is of the world, pay attention now, Bourbon Street, this is you. For all that is of the world, 
the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Oh, you're so prideful, walking around in your adultery and your fornication and your drunkenness and your sin. You're so prideful, you think you don't need God. You don't think you need forgiveness. You don't think you deserve hell. All that is of the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life are not of the Father, but are of the world. Here's why you need to come out of the world, sinners. Here's why you need to depart from your iniquity. Verse 17 says, And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. All these lustful things that you have here today to feast your eyes upon, sinner, they're going to pass away. All this drunkenness is going to pass away. All these whores and whoremongers, all these adulterous men and women, they will pass away. Mardi Gras will pass away. Bourbon Street will pass away. It will all pass away. And the lusts are up. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. You can abide forever if you come out of your sin today. Shame on you, sinner. You're a pervert. Shame on you for being a pervert. Shame on you. It's time to come out of your sin today. Your sin is killing you. Some of you may not even see it. That's why we're here today to tell you that your sin is killing you people. It's going to kill you physically and it's going to kill you spiritually. And the spiritual death is much worse. The spiritual death is much worse than any physical death because it will never end. Your torment, your suffering of the wrath of God upon you will never end forever and ever. Amen, saith the Lord. All the judgment we will face on that great and terrible day of the wrath of the Lord. When he comes back and he splits the sky open and he says, I'm coming to judge you, New Orleans. There won't be partying on that day. There won't be cheering on that day. Thank you. Turn to Jesus Christ today and know the Lord. Turn from your sin. Turn from your iniquitous ways. The judgment of God is a fearful thing. And the Bible says that the wrath of God abideth upon you. And that He is angry with the wicked every day. He is angry with the wicked every day. He was angry with you yesterday. He is angry with you today. He is angry with you right now. And He will be angry with you tomorrow if you don't repent. The Bible says repent and be baptized each and every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Oh, but you ignore that conviction. You ignore the calling of God. You ignore the conviction of the Holy Ghost when He tells you. Don't see the law of God is written upon every one of your hearts. God has written that law of good and evil upon your hearts. And you know what is good. You know what is evil. But you choose evil. You choose wickedness. <laughs> and God will be just to destroy you on Judgment Day. You say, oh, that's not a God of love. That's not the God my Catholic pastor told me about. That's not the God of love my mommy and my grandmommy told me about. Sorry that they lied to you, but God judges the wicked. He does it every day. And He will judge you on that final day, if less you repent. The Bible says, repent and be ye converted, that your sins may be blotted up. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You can have the presence of the Lord today. But the Lord will not be found in your sin. You can't cross yourself into heaven, sir. Why would you cross yourself and flip me off? You're not even good at being a Catholic sinner. You're not even good at being Catholic. Go ask your priest to forgive you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Thank you. No, thank you. No, I don't want to know me. I just want to hold it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Turn to Jesus Christ today. God doesn't care about your beads and your foolishness. Play and dress up, doll. God hates you sinners. And you need to turn back to the God of the Bible. Turn back to Him. You need Jesus Christ today. 
You need Jesus Christ. You look foolish, sir. You look foolish. You can be forgiven of your sin. You can be forgiven of your sin today if you will repent and turn back to a holy God. Return back to a holy God. You see, He is sending you preachers today to tell you the truth. He's sending you preachers to command you to follow Him. He's sending you mercy. He's sending you grace today that you can know the truth. But don't reject it one more day because you could end up dying and going to hell in your sin. Oh, what a shameful thing. What a shameful thing to deny a holy God. A chance at salvation. The gift that was freely given of Jesus on the cross. That Jesus bled and He died. That you might know of a way other than suffering in your sin. Because Jesus said, Jesus said that you can have a yoke that is light and easy. You can have a yoke which is light and easy. Come out of the devil of feminism. You have the devil of feminism in you. A part of your feminism. You don't seem to be at peace. You don't seem to be at peace with yourself, feminist. Shame on you. Long live the patriarchy. Long live the patriarchy. Long live the patriarchy. Praise the Lord. Some of you women need to go home and submit to your husbands. Some of you women need to go home where you should be. The woman is supposed to be a keeper of the home. Not supposed to be wandering the streets like a drunkard. Like a whore, whoring themselves out to men that don't love you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Almost at me. Close. Shame on you today. Turn to a holy God. Turn to a holy God today and trust in Jesus Christ. He can save you from your sins. He can save you from your sin. If you will but turn from your sin. Trust in Jesus today. I used to be a sinner just like you. I'm no longer a sinner today. I used to be a sinner just like you. Oh, but Jesus Christ looked down on me and He had pity. He had pity on me, a lost man who was lost and dying in my sin, a fornicator just like you. <clears throat> filled with lust, watching pornography, being filled with adulterous thoughts. Oh, but Jesus Christ came to set me free. And that's what He did indeed. Shame on you today for rejecting it. I'm glad, I'm glad that I didn't reject it. Turn to Jesus Christ today. Turn to Jesus Christ today. Oh, God desires that none should perish. He desires that none should perish, but that they would have everlasting life. Jesus Christ died for you. How do you know he doesn't have a uterus? Don't be judgmental. You don't know him. You don't know if he doesn't have a uterus. I thought men could be women and women could be men these days. What happened to the rainbow crowd? Oh, man. I'm sorry they ju judgmental like that. So judgmental. Watch your mouth. Turn to Jesus Christ today. Turn to Jesus Christ today. He's coming back one day with flaming fire to judge the wicked. The book of Ecclesiastes said, and this is the whole duty of man. Fear God and keep His commandments. Fear God and keep His commandments. You don't fear God today, do you sinners? You don't fear God one bit because you're still walking in your sin. Just like all the beads around your neck, that's how the weight of sin is upon your neck, sinner. You can be free from your burden today because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lamb of Lambs, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain on the cross at Calvary. Praise be unto a holy God. Thanks be to Jesus Christ because He set me free from my sin. He set me free from my sin. Praise the Lord. I'm not fist pumping you. Praise the Lord. Because He set a lost man like me free. And now I'm going to have heaven when I die. But what's going to happen to you when you die, sinners? What's going to happen to you when you die, sinners? <clears throat> if you're going to die a sinner and not a saint, then you're going to have hell. You see, hell is for sinners. Heaven is for saints. Somewhere along the way, you Catholics and false converts got it confused along the way. Heaven is not a place for sinners. 
And hell is not a place for sins. You got to turn to Jesus Christ and give him your burden of sin. You got to turn unto him today before it's too late. Pay attention to all that's going on in this world, people. We got war coming. We got wars going on in other nations. People are dying left and right. And here you are walking down the street, partying, living it up, getting drunk, whoring around. And you can't accept the reality that death could come upon us all tomorrow. You best get ready to meet God. The Bible says prepare to meet thy God. Prepare to meet God, sir. You're going to see him one day. Prepare to meet God. You say, oh, I'm going to get right with God in my own time. I'll get right with God when I'm good and well ready. I'll get right with God once I've had my fun. Jesus might decide to kill you tomorrow, sinner, and you're not going to have a chance to get it right. You're not going to have a chance to get it right when you want. you got to come to God on His terms. You can't go to God with your own terms. You can't go to God with your terms. Pour out the beer, read your Bible, sinner. That's Bye what you do. This is the end of my Biden. You need Bye to pour out your beer, pick up your Bible. Turn to Jesus Christ today. All oh, this lost and dying world. The Bible says that broad is the path to destruction. Narrow is the way, straight is the gate. And few there be that find it. Few there be that find it. Few of you will repent. Few of you will turn from your sin and do what's right. Few of you will obey Jesus Christ. Turn from your sin today, sir. Leave this party. Leave this party. Leave this party today. Honor God. Honor God today. Jesus Christ said himself, if you love me, keep my commandments. If I were to ask you people if you love Jesus, many of you would say you would, but your fruit says otherwise. Your fruit says that you love your father, the devil. You shake your head, sinner. He's going to shake his head at you on judgment day. Your fruit says otherwise. You call yourselves a Christian, but your fruit says otherwise. You say, oh, I know Jesus. I love Jesus. But that beer in your hand says otherwise. That whore that you'll be with tonight, the whoremonger that you'll be with here tonight, says otherwise. The lies that are coming out of your mouth say otherwise. The cursing that comes out of your mouth says otherwise. This is why the Bible says to examine yourself. Examine yourself today. I'm not hugging today. Sorry. I have a wife. I have a wife. This is not a free hug contest. We're here to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Turn to a living God today. He will bear that burden of sin. He will take upon you the yoke which is light and easy. That you can have the yoke and the burden of following Jesus and not the burden of sin. You see, the burden of sin is heavy. It's burdensome. It will break you. It will destroy you. And it will take you into a place you never wanted to go. Sin will cause young ladies to grow up to murder their own innocent children. Sin will cause otherwise good young men to grow up to become whoremongers and adulterers that cheat on their wives. Sin will cause you to go down a road you never wanted to go. You think you're good in your sin now. Wait till you find the next level of depravity. Wait till you find something else. Wait till you get bored in what you're doing now and you find something even worse to get into. That's how sin works. That's how the devil works, people. He seeks to steal, to kill, and to destroy you. And you're all falling for it. You're falling for the plan of the devil. You're falling for the enemy. Because he seeks to kill you in hell. That's why you must turn to a holy God. You must turn to a holy God today. The Bible says that God is holy. Holy, holy. It also says that he will not give his glory to any other. He does not share his glory. God gets the glory. And I say today amidst all your sin, glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Because God gets the glory. 
Serve God today. Give your life unto Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin today, here today. Put out your cigarette. Pour out your beer. Humble yourselves. Jesus will accept a humble and a contrite heart. But you got to be willing to repent. To repent means to change your mind about your sin. That means you have to understand that you deserve hell. I didn't come unto Jesus until I realized I deserved hell. That I needed a place of judgment for myself. Oh, but some of you don't think you deserve hell. Some of you think you're good people. Some of you think you're good enough to get into heaven. But good works will not get you into heaven. The only good work that will get you there will be the work of repentance. The work of humility. The work of coming unto the cross. To have your sins taken from you. To have that burden lifted off your shoulders. For Jesus Christ to once again call you His Son. Hallelujah. The Bible says that you can be made a son of God. That you can be made a son of God. That you can come back from your sin. But don't become a reprobate. Don't harden your heart against the truth. Don't go so long where you don't receive the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Don't harden yourself against the gospel. Don't harden yourself against the truth. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. You're on the path to death, sir. You're on the path to death. But Jesus is life. All this here is a lie. All this here is a lie. All this voodoo. All this mysticism. All this drunkenness. All this fornication and adultery. Catholicism. It's all a lie. But Jesus is truth. And Jesus will not lie to you. His word will not lie to you. It is pure and everlasting. It is a pure furnace. And it will judge you righteously. The Bible says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. That's why I'm telling you to pick up your Bibles today. Go home and sober up and see what God says for once. You'll take counsel from your drunk friend, but you won't take it from a holy God. Oh, I tell you today that judgment day will be fearful. I can't high five you in your sin, man. You see that? You see, oh, your, but you see this going on here? Want. Did Jesus man say come as you are? No, he said to repent. No, he said, he come said as you to are. repent. Tell me he don't say come as Where you are. Where does it say that? In the I'm gonna cuss you out before don't I Don't cuss me out. out. You're the Christian, remember? You are too, remember? You're, you're, I'm the guy you're trying to get saved, right? Don't cuss me out today, please. Why is it that people who think they know their Bibles on Bourbon Street always cuss when they give scripture? You guys need to get more saved than that. Time to turn to a living God today. Repent or perish. Turn to Jesus Christ. He is offering you salvation today. He is offering you a way out of your sin. You don't have to die a sinner. You can die a saint and have everlasting life. You can have the glories and the riches of heaven above, the heavenly rewards. You know, the Bible says not to store up your treasures here on earth, which can be corrupted and destroyed. Repent, feminist. But you can store up your treasures in heaven, up in heaven, where they will not be corrupted, where they will not be destroyed. All this you see before you will perish one day. All this will perish. And it's time to turn into a holy God. You don't like being told the truth, Sodomites. You don't like being told the truth. Because it hurts your feelings. Some of you would rather listen to your feelings and your emotions than what the Bible says. You're led by your own mind. And the Bible says that the heart is deceitful and wicked above all things. You're being led by your heart. You're being led by the lust of the flesh. The lust of the eyes and the pride of life. That's why you need to come unto Him today. You need to come unto Him today. You can have the riches and the glory of Jesus Christ. If you'll turn to Him. Judgment Day is coming. The prophet John the Baptist, he preached the coming Messiah, preached the coming of Jesus Christ on this earth the first time when He came as a babe in a manger, when He came to live and die and be resurrected. And this is what John the Baptist preached. He said, repent, 
for the kingdom of God is at hand. And we preach the same message unto you today because Jesus is coming back again. Jesus is coming back for a second time and He's not coming back as a baby. He's not coming back as a small thing. He's coming back as a roaring lion. He's coming back with flaming fire. He's coming back to destroy the wicked like you said. He's coming back to rescue His children out of this earth. And so we preach unto you today the same message of John the Baptist. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Bible says today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Now is the accepted time. Today can be the day that you give your life on the cross. Today can be the day that you say, I've had enough of my sin. I've had enough of this foolishness. I've had enough of the beads and the beer and the sin. And Jesus can save you. Jesus can cleanse you. Jesus can make you a new creation. I'm no longer the man I used to be, and I thank God for that, that I'm not a sinner like I used to be. And it's only because of the blood, the precious blood, the pure blood, the cleansing blood, the powerful blood of Jesus Christ that I'm a new man today. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians 2.15, a spiritual man judges all things. If you're worried about us judging you, that is correct, we are judging you. We're judging you righteously here today because you would rather be judged by us than be judged by God. We're here to judge you before you get judged by God. Here to tell you that there is a way that you can come out of this sin, out of your death, out of this darkness, that you can come unto the light. The Bible says, but if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ His Son cleanseth us from all sin. You can be cleansed today. All of your sin. Not some of it. You can be a man completely free of your sin. Come out of your iniquity today. Come out of your wicked ways and repent. Turn from your sin and repent before it's too late. Jesus Christ is calling you. Jesus Christ says, Come unto me, all who are weary. Be weary of your sin today. Be done with your sin and come unto our holy Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. One day we will all stand before Him and give account of all that we've done. On that day He will say to the faithful, enter in to the joy of your Lord. For the Lord delights in the death of His servants We will see Him arise with healing in His wings With arms open wide in all heaven rejoicing Surrounded by His love will 